Hi guys, it's Katie and I'm finally back. Y'all know, number one, I'm a huge foodie. Number two, I just graduated from Cornell this year, so I know a lot about the area and I'm actually sticking around in Ithaca, which is where Cornell is. And my goal is to be able to share with you all of my favorite restaurants, food places, desserts. And so the past videos, I've ranked college town restaurants and Ithaca restaurants, but today we're gonna do sweet, guilty pleasures, as I call them. It's just the ice cream, the boba, anything sweet and guilty, though I don't think they should be guilty, as long as you're doing it in moderation. So, quick rundown of how the ranking works before we jump right into it. S tier is superior, my absolute favorite. A tier is good value, B tier is all right, C tier is a campus favorite, but not mine, and D tier is just meh, I've like never had to go back after the one time I've tried it, and E tier is just I've never tried it. This video I split into three parts, where the first part is ice cream because <laughs> that is the priority, obviously. The next part is college town specific places, and the last is miscellaneous ones in Ithaca that I think are notable to mention. So let's get started. First one, purity ice cream. This is a campus favorite for sure. Purity is good, by the way. I wanna say even though it's like in the C category, a lot of people love it. Like this is probably the most packed ice cream place, but I personally just have other favorites. Cayugalate Creamery, this is my S tier. Uh, now realistically, I wanna say the gap between Purity and Cayuga is really not that significant. I would say, honestly, they're closer in tiers, but I wanted to put Purity in Campus Favorite just to highlight how popular and sociable of a spot it is. Personally, I like Cayuga Lake Creamery because I find that it's more creamy and the texture of ice cream is more smooth. Like, my favorite flavors there are the Purple Cow, which is a black raspberry mixed with white chocolate or something along that nature. It's just so good. And their other favorite is the Seneca Sea Salt Caramel. Okay, Sweet Melissa's is another really popular one. I'm gonna give it an A tier because they also have a really good black raspberry soft serve. The only thing with this place is you need to bring cash. Like they will not accept credit card, Venmo, nothing. Like I've gone there and I've tried and they're like, please, I forgot my cash. And they're like, sorry. And they know they can do that because they're so popular in the area. Like they are a local spot and all, you know, all the locals know that you have to bring cash. Cornell Dairy Bar, I'm gonna give it a B tier. Uh, I think everyone agrees like it's really good. And if you want to make your own ice cream, like I did, you can actually take the food science class. This intro to food science class is a one credit course at Cornell. It's 10 weeks long, you meet once a week, and the group project is you make your own ice cream flavor at the Cornell Dairy Bar. Like they'll give you a tour of the place, you'll get to pitch a flavor, and I'm pretty sure if your flavor wins, it actually gets sold at the Cornell Dairy Bar for a semester or something. So that is a very cool must-do Cornell class. Uh, 15 Below Ice Cream is downtown. It's not super memorable, so I'm gonna put in D tier. Frosty Cow is a very popular soft serve place. It's 20 minutes out. I would say it's a, it's a, I would give it an A tier if it was nearer, but it's 20 minutes away. Oh, Spotted Dog. Ah, <laughs> Spotted Dog, I'm gonna put an S tier because the experience of this place is wonderful. Spotted Duck is an hour away, but it's known for these ice cream flights where you can try a dozen flavors. Now, it's not ice cream, it's technically duck egg custard, but it basically tastes like ice cream. I've gone with friends twice, thrice now, and we just go with like three or four people, we get a flight of ice cream, they're different flavors. I remember like blueberry basil and lavender and java junction the biggest appeal of this is just going out an hour away just for ice cream and to get a flight of it it's also really cool because you are right next to the farm so you see the ducks where they get the eggs from and they also have a peacock there which always impresses people and sometimes if you're lucky there's a wood fire pizza truck um next to it and that was also so good like wow my friends and i over the summer literally went to spotted duck um just to get ice cream and then we ended up having dinner because there was a pizza truck an amazing memory and the last one is shida burn farm creamery which i've never tried but i have had friends go here i think it's about 30 or 40 minutes away from ithaca and this place is ice cream and cheese tasting i really want to try it i will let you know if i ever go here now that we're done with the ice cream the second part is just college town 
dessert places and we're starting with the two boba places ut and kung fu tea this is another like lifelong debate similar to appel versus rpcc i actually have a hard time deciding because i think both have their their strengths so hear me out and I'm, I'm gonna put these both in b tier because i don't think like boba in general is like that fantastic in college town but between the two of them like at, at least we have boba okay we gotta be grateful for that so i prefer UT if we're talking about their Yakult drink. So I really love their Mang Mang Yakult. I think that is my go-to is the Mango Yakult. And also their brulee milk tea, which is just cookies and cream. It's like drinking a cake, like a milk tea cake. For Kung Fu tea, I really like their fruit teas. So they have like lychee, black teas, green teas. I think their boba is actually chewier and it's bigger. Mango Mango, again, I'm not like that big on it. I would say it's a campus favorite. There's always a lot of people inside. It's a nice hangout spot. They have you know, everything. Aside from their mango desserts, they also have drinks, they have small sandwiches. I also think I have really high expectations for mangoes because I grew up in the Philippines and, you know, our mangoes are amazing. Chatty Cathy, I've not been in a while, but they're known for their acai bowls and smoothies. They are good, but they're just so overpriced. It, it, now that I have a Nutribullet, I can blend my own acai bowl and it's so easy to make yourself. Insomnia cookies, I had a huge problem my first year where I was just eating so many snickerdoodles and oatmeal raisin cookies yeah I know don't 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 hate me I am an oatmeal raisin cookie girl and I and not just that like I would choose it over like a chocolate chip cookie and that is just where I stand and I'm proud of it a tier sometimes I'll even give it to you for free if they're feeling nice if you're also part of a club and hosting a large event they sometimes will gift you just boxes of 50 cookies and all you have to do is like you call ahead I think you have to call two weeks ahead and tell them you have a large event sometimes they will actually just donate like 50 cookies for your event and I've done that several times for different organizations so that's a little life hack for you Jason's I really like it for their frozen yogurt. It's not anything spectacular, but it's just nice to have a Froyo place where you can get your own cup, choose a flavor, they have different toppings like Nutella, strawberry, blah blah blah, and it really hits in the summer. Okay, now we're down to our last four, and Honeybee Embassy. This is so cool and unique about Ithaca, but I learned that you could do honey tasting here, and this is something my friends and I checked out like literally the week we graduated. And I had a really good experience with it. The place is beautiful. I'm gonna put it in B tier because they had chili honey, different varietals of honey from different trees. And oh, they had really good drinks. That's what they had. Ithaca Bakery, I have never been, though I know they supply some stuff for CTB or College Town Bagels. Paris Baguette just opened in Ithaca. And this is, this is like a popular chain. It's good, but I'm not like, wow. I'm gonna put it in B tier. And there's a lot of hype around it right now because it just opened, but I don't know, like it's it's just it's just a bakery. And I guess for Ithaca standards, it's, it makes a difference. Like it's an Asian bakery, so it definitely, it's offering definitely just like increased Ithaca's offerings in general. So I'm really happy about that. And now the last one is Apple Fest. And Apple Fest is a event. It's a weekend long event that runs usually the last week of October. But I wanted to put this in here because Apple Fest is the event of the year um like this is the biggest community event in Ithaca I would say my friend called it an extended farmer's market because there were literally like a ton of food stalls a ton of craft stores also and the biggest thing is there's so many apple themed products like I've had apple pizza before here there's apple cider donuts there's apple cider it's a whole Thing and you will literally see everybody um, that you know in town here because everyone goes to Apple Fest. It's funny because when I first came to Ithaca and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a festival. I had really high expectations. Like I thought it would be huge and this would be like a day long event, but you know, it's, it's very small. It's a small town thing, but it's grown on me. I love it. And I think every person who comes to Cornell should get to come witness Apple Fest. I recommend, here's the hack guys, go on Friday. Don't go on Saturday or Sunday. Like that's when everyone goes and understandable because it's the weekend. But if you can go on Friday, it's a lot more slow pace. I think more of the locals come out on Friday and the lines are reasonable for the apple cider donuts. Otherwise you're waiting like in these super, super duper long lines, which I don't think is super reasonable. But again, when you have a relatively big event in a small town, that's what happens and you get Apple Fest. So I'm gonna put it in S tier because I think everyone needs to check out Apple Fest. 
So those are my rankings for the guilty pleasures at Cornell. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to share it with your friends. If you want to check some of these out or any of these interest you, then please share this with your friends, screenshot it, put it on Google Maps. Just make sure you get to try these places, especially the S and A tier ones. Check out my previous rankings for College Town and Ithaca restaurants. If you have not already, I'll also put it in the description box below. And make sure to subscribe because next week we are going to rank nightlife in Ithaca. And I'm so excited for it because we are going to talk about the bars, the wineries, the cideries, and the breweries, which the Finger Lakes region, where Ithaca is, is really known for. And there's so many gems out there that I want to tell you about. So see you next week with another new video. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Mm.